Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zarks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to beat the gauntlet. I know a lot of you people have been struggling with it so I figured I'd give you guys some tips. First things first, you need to know the playbooks that I'm using for this video. I'm going to go through the challenges and show you which plays I actually used. As you guys can see I have 102 stars currently. I didn't get 5 stars for every solo. It's pretty dang hard to do. I will eventually have to come back and do so because, of course, at 150 stars, you do get the, the uh, expert token, which you will need in order to, like, get some sort of, like, master set in a couple months from now. We don't know exactly everything from it, but I do know you will need the token for something big. So I highly recommend you try to get 50 stars. It's going to be pretty hard to do, but you can also do it. Now, the thing is, right... I didn't even go through and play all these on Legend because you don't really need to if you're just going for the 100 stars to get them. So I'm going to be showing you all these in the Veteran. I do recommend you guys try and play them all on 3 stars. And I know some of you guys maybe don't have the best team. So it's going to be a little bit harder for you guys. And it took me about, I want to say 2 hours or so to get this done. I did have to replace some of the solo challenges. And the final challenge is pretty dang hard. But I'm going to give you guys some tips that I used. I have to say... Literally, if they just picked up like four more offensive yards on me, I would have lost the game. So it was really, really tough. Luckily, I was able to get five stars in it. But I'm going to go ahead, go through the challenges, and show you guys everything. First up, though, Patriots offense is the offense that I'm going to be showing you guys this with. And my defense is going to be the Jets. So that being said, let me hop into this first one. I'll show you guys how to do it pretty easily. And I'll also just show you guys that I am going to be playing this on the hardest difficulty. There you guys go. So as you guys can see with the first one, and by the way, when it goes through like the rookie, the legend, the veteran, it basically just makes the requirements harder. The game themselves doesn't get harder just based on how many stars you guys decide to do. So you guys can see here, pass for 150 yards, attempt 12 or fewer pass passes, and of course this one, you actually get an extra star if you complete it in 8 or fewer passes, 5 or fewer passes, and of course execute a possession catch. Now 150 yards is decently easy to do, I'd say to get this in so what you want to do of course like i said patriots playbook trips tight end flex pa crossers pa crossers is going to be your friend when it comes to this basically all these going so as you got to see i put the tight end on a streak i'm going to put randy moss on a slant and i'm going to block the running back now like it says you do have to go ahead and get at least one possession catch you guys can see b should usually get open and on the very first one i have possession catch to get that extra star now if you guys want to run hurry up you definitely can now again you only have five pass attempts to get 150 yards to me i think this is probably one of the best ways unless you want to call even a deeper shot down the field you can see here b is getting wide open down the field hit a little juke move jerry rice is almost going to take that one all the way to the house sometimes you get luckier there and you will take it to the house so that of course was i believe my second completion and now we get one more attempt here of course on this third one you're going to want to try and score a touchdown i'm going to pass lead that score to the end zone and unfortunately that is going to be incomplete so because that wasn't complete and not every time is going to be incomplete this is another good play you guys can run halfback wheel and a gun split close and watch out for randy moss here let's see if he gets open if not i'm still going to throw it. randy moss back in the end zone this game's broken. <laughs> All right, just take advantage of the game being broken. Throw it right over the safety set. Doesn't even matter. For some reason on these games, though, it's just super easy like that. And another little way here to get these games done quicker, especially in these games where you literally... Really? Where you literally don't even have to stop them from getting yardage or you don't have to stop them from scoring touchdowns. What I recommend you do... You just onside kick the ball and literally come out and field goal block, let them score, and then get the ball back. Now, as you guys can see, we do need to pick up like 60 yards or so, I believe, in this final game. So I'm going to come out here, field goal block, and then let them score a touchdown. Once I get the ball back, I'll see you guys in a second. Now, because of me throwing one incompletion, it does make it a little bit harder for me to get this in just five plays, but we're going to have to pick up a good amount of yards here on this final play. Jerry Rice is going to be open to the sidelines, going to throw that out to him, turn up the field, and I actually don't think we got the 150 passing yards. As you guys can see, we only got 118. Running the crossers, though, you can easily get the 150 passing yards. We would have just juked out the defender on that first play, and then, of course, if that ball wouldn't have been any complete, we would have got the 150 before. Now, this one should be the 150 passing yards yards now unfortunately we're not gonna get five stars because we did it in six attempts instead of five 
But that's just luck with how winning it abounds. On to the next challenge. I know this one's gonna be a little bit harder for some people because maybe you don't have the best defense, but this one is gonna be a defensive one. You can see I actually got four stars on this. So what you have to do, force a turnover on this drive. Do not allow any yards this drive and allow three or fewer yards. It's pretty dang hard. Now, something we would recommend to you guys immediately once you get into the game, I think this is actually one of the solos where they give you a team. It's not your actual team. You're going to want to put strip ball and tackling on aggressive. Now, this one might take you a while because they could easily get three yards. They just throw like a quick little slant or whatever. There was a couple of times I had to restart solos because just some cheese, man. Just some serious cheese. As you guys can see, I actually only got four stars in this solo. And you have to allow three or fewer yards to drive. Do not allow any yards. And, of course, force a turnover. So, it's pretty dang hard to get five stars here because you either have to force a turnover, do not allow any yards, or allow three or fewer yards. You can do the do not allow any yards. The turnover for me was the hardest one. I don't think I got it. And don't worry about getting five stars in every solo unless you're going for the 150 star thing. You don't have to get it. You can literally go through. You guys can see I didn't even finish all the legend games, but you still get the 100 stars that you need in order to get the fantasy pack. Now, I would recommend you put strip ball and tackling on aggressive, and I'm going to be running a play out of 3-4 bear, and it's going to be pinch Mike zero, or you guys can do the usual nickel two four five and come down here to mid blitz. That's really everyone's favorite play, and when it comes to solo challenge, mid blitz still works out pretty well, and you tend to get a lot of pressure on the QB. Now, hopefully, we can get a turnover here. It looks like he's running double slants. Actually, no, he's running double post. He might chuck it up here, and no, he's actually just going to take off with Jameis Winston, and unfortunately, we do not get a fumble, but you guys can see right there, that's just how hard it is because now they already picked up a yard. So I think if we get a sack or something on them, then it actually might give us one of the stars for doing not allowing yards this drive as he's running the ball here, and that's a negative play, but I still think we might have missed it just because they actually did pick up yards to start off. And this is what's going to be very hard in order to get five stars in every single solo is it's hard enough to not allow them to get a single yard, but also because you have to get a turnover as we get a sack there. And we're going to get four stars for this game. Unfortunately, not five, but it is an easy way to go ahead and beat it. As soon as they punt the ball, solo ends. And actually, we ended up getting three for that one because they expected yards. We didn't get a turnover. It's pretty hard to do. This one as well, pass for a touchdown in the first play from 25 yards out. This one can be a little bit difficult, and you can see when you put the difficulty up, you actually get a different team. But I'm going to show you guys this, a bullet pass, a ball carry move, and execute a celebration as well. So for this solo, again, I think you guys should be running PA crossers. I will say even on the ease, the quote-unquote easier one, I think it's actually a little bit harder for rookie because you only have 25 yards to throw a pass, catch it, hit a ball carry move, and then also celebrate as we're going to hit the sidelines here. Now what I'm going to try to do is hit a juke and then celebrate a little bit. I actually don't know if I got the celebration in there as well. You kind of got to time it basically perfectly as I don't think we got the celebration counted and it looks like we actually didn't. But it's not super hard. You guys get the point. Crossers, hit a juke or a spin, and then hold left trigger and A in order to celebrate to get your five stars. And again, on to the next one here. We had to force two sacks in the first quarter, force two sacks, then two opponent drives, force a sack on the first play, and execute a user sack. I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So again, in this challenge, all we're going to be doing is running mid blitz. Now, you do need a user sack on the very first play. So in order to get a user sack, either manually use or a pass rusher, or when someone's about to come in and get a sack, just hit B really quickly like we did right there with Lawrence Taylor, switch to them, and then hit X. So you get the user sack. And now all we have to do is get one more sack here within the first two op opponent offensive drives. And then, of course, this quarter. So pretty easy. All you have to do is get one more sack. Now, second and 18, we get our second sack. Boom, boom. Two plays. Solo over. Now, next up, we're going to be doing the return man. This one is pretty dang hard. Now, you have to pick up 60 yards in the kick return, and this is just for the veteran one, and then also do a stiff arm ball carrying move. So, you have to get a stiff arm and also pick up 60 yards on a kick return on hard difficulty. It's very hard. I actually didn't even get five stars on this one. This is the one that it's going to be a real big pain when I have to come back and actually try to get five stars. For now, if you guys can't get it, don't worry about it. Just try and pick up as many yards you guys possibly can. All you have to do is execute any ball carry move and pick up 15 plus yards. So that can be a stiff arm, a spin, a juke, whatever. Just getting 60 yards in general is extremely, extremely hard. My only tips I can really give you when it comes to the kick return is you obviously need to have a fast returner back here and then take a blocker and probably move them over to the left side. And again, we had a stiff arm there. We beat the challenge, but in order to get 60 yards, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, it's just straight up luck. 
Now on to the Pound the Rock one. Now I actually did get five stars in this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Rush for 50 plus yards in the first play. Rush for a touchdown. You actually get an extra star, which I'm going to go for. And then, of course, hit two spin moves. You get an additional star. Now, the reason you guys want to use the Panthers playbook for this one is they have Wildcat. Now, of course, Wildcat, my personal favorite, I like to run Wildcat Power. This is basically the best run play in the game that I found for doing these challenges. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to keep the ball with whoever you have at running back here. Hit the outside, and it's going to come down to if you can actually get some good blocks. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. This one probably took me the longest to do just because it, it is pretty dang hard. And you can see even how good of a team I have. I still just got stuffed right there. So if you guys are having a hard time, if you're getting stuffed on plays, keep running it. You just have to keep trying it and just keep trying it again. You guys can see here, we actually do get a little bit lucky. Break some tackles. Now, even though you do have to hit two spin moves, you don't necessarily have to hit two spin moves on any players here. We're actually going to hit two spin moves there, and we didn't end up scoring a TD. But that's actually how I did it, was I hit two spin moves once I got towards the goal line. And it gave me my two spin moves, but we didn't score a TD, so we get five stars. You guys get the point, though. Wildcat, hit two spin moves whenever you guys can. Score a touchdown. Now, guys, with every other challenge available, literally take everything I just told you guys and use it. Same thing for read and react. Allow 10 or fewer yards, not any points. Blitz. Straight up blitz on that one. Toughness, as you guys can see. Rush for a touchdown and eight or fewer yards. Wildcat again. Wildcat is definitely going to be the move. Now, of course, if you rush for a touchdown and two or fewer plays, you do, of course, get... Five stars. Do not execute any ball here. Don't juke. Don't spin. Don't stiff arm. Get five stars in that one. Underdog. Win the game. Score two touchdowns. Force fumble. Force a fumble. I recommend you guys probably turn on strip ball uh, and tackling on aggressive to try and get that. You might have to end up playing a couple times because, you know, it's a little bit difficult for that. Score two touchdowns. I recommend you just pass the ball. PA crossers. Computer really doesn't seem to be able to stop that as well. And then, of course, the gauntlet game. This is tough. This is really, really tough. But again, like I told you guys, if you want to, you can run single back, half back dive. You guys can run uh, inside zone. If you want to use the Patriots playbook, the way you have the PA crossers, it might also be in Carolina's playbook as well, which is what I use for the other one. Uh, force two user sacks. Again, same thing with user sacks. Hit B. Win by 14 points and use 10 plus ball carry moves. The ball carry moves really is not that hard. Just hit a juke, hit a spill whenever you throw a pass or if you run the ball, whatever. You have to pass for 200 yards, rush for 100 yards. The hardest part is allowing 100 fewer yards, okay? That's gonna be really tough to do. And I'll tell you guys this, I got super lucky. I didn't have to restart it at all, but you guys can see I actually did get five stars on this because I did every single thing. It is pretty tough. I got super close to them beating me. They only had like four more yards to go, but I had to restart the entire game. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Be efficient, use up the clock. If you guys get your 200 yards, like your 100 rush yards, your 200 pass yards, and then you've already got 25 yards and you want to kick off, pretty dang easy there force two sacks and you've done everything except for allowing them uh, stopping them from getting the yardage you already have up by 14 points you use 10 cover boom to, uh, 10 ball carrier moves run the ball run the ball turn on two clock and that game do not give the ball back to the computer do what you guys can but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i hope this video did help you guys out with some tips if you did enjoy the video make sure you guys drop a like i'll see you guys next time